Hi everyone, it's Nicole Spore from Mama Elephant and today I am sharing these simple little agenda frames popped up with fun foam. Really simple but very effective and the dimension is so fun to, to frame up any of our little agenda critters. I absolutely love that these frames really complement and work with the whole little agenda collection. And I'm using the little agenda monkey or the little monkey agenda images inside my frames today, which are brand new with this April release. We're going to start with a piece of Desert Storm craft cardstock, and I am inking through it with a white pigment ink using a foam ink blending tool and the Tim Holtz bricked stencil. This is a stencil I use a lot. I love it for creating that brick wall effect. And I really wanted it to look like um, these white bricks kind of against this and then it's uh, with the craft and everything. But I wanted the majority of it to just kind of be this weathered looking brick wall background that we're going to hang our frames on. Once I have my background completely inked, I'm going to take a little picket fence white paint Water it down with just a tiny bit of water, protect my work surface with a non-stick mat, and then take a small paintbrush, pick up that paint and splatter it all over my background to distress that even more. I wanted this to look like a really old weathered wall back behind where I'm gonna hang up the little agenda frames. Now I did stamp my images, I did this off camera, and I originally thought maybe I would color in the frames and I didn't like how it looked at all. So I kind of just skipped down and started coloring in my monkeys instead. I originally thought I would just use three of the frames and use that last fourth little spot for my greeting, but as I got further into the design of my card, I really didn't like that so well. I didn't think the greeting was bold enough to warrant having that whole space. Plus, I was gonna have a lot of white space down below the greetings. It just wasn't working out. And so I kind of went back to what works for me most of the time, which is kind of more of an even quadrant type of style. So we're gonna have four frames total and four monkeys with the small greeting from the little agenda frames stamped right below them um, on my card. Very quick coloring here. All of my monkeys colored the same with E40, 43, and 44 with R00 for the cheeks. Nothing crazy here. Um, I think total I used four colors for the monkey and two for the hearts and that is it. So R27 and R46 for the hearts. If there is a heart with the monkey, otherwise very, very simple. So here I am stamping the remaining images. Um, I actually ended up switching this monkey as well. I'm just gonna have to save him for another project because I moved my frames around. This is one of those cards where it didn't all come together super smoothly. It did come together pretty quickly, but I kept having to move things around to make it work. And that's okay. Sometimes what you have in your head to begin with doesn't always translate into the design pro process. And I always like to mention that because it happens to all of us. We have an idea. I knew that I wanted to do kind of this brick wall. I knew I wanted to hang up these frames and put them on fun foam so that they would have some great dimension, but I couldn't figure out the placement. That's what I had so much trouble with. And once I said, I kept trying to make it in a group of three. Once I realized I should just go ahead and do four and it was about this point right here that, well, that I realized four is going to be the best that, or a little bit before this, I guess, before I stamped that last frame, it really came together super fast. So I stamped my greeting, that hello there, right there down below where all my frames are gonna go. And now it's simply finishing up everything and putting it all together. I decided to keep my frames white with just the black stamping. Um, as I mentioned earlier in the video, I just really didn't like the color at all, and I think I'm really glad that I kept them white, but there's definitely times you can add color to these. I think they're so super fun. 
Now I put stick it adhesive on both sides of a scrap piece of fun foam here. I'm only going to be able to get three of the frames from this, so I'm going to have to do that. I have lots of little scraps of fun foam, so I and little scraps of stick it for that matter. So I just put another piece together to die cut that final frame. But the fun foam die cuts beautifully. I use the Spellbinders Platinum die cutting machine and can't recommend it enough. It is a fabulous die cutting machine. One pass of the machine is going to die cut even the most intricate of dies in most instances. It's just really fantastic. Now I kept the inside pieces from all of the frames because I want to ink them up with a contrasting color of ink. For these I used Barn Door Distress Ink. Really complements the red in the hearts nicely. It also picks up the red color of the hearts I colored, um, or I guess I already mentioned that. Uh, and then the little bows that I stamped from the Little Frames agenda with some red ink. So I'm going to go ahead and pop my frame in place. I want to add the little hanger at the top. I love that the Little Agenda frames have hanger options, they have a little bow, they've got some greetings, some little stamp shapes that you can use to adorn or stamp inside your frames if you wanted to. Cute little greetings, um, just really fantastic stamp set. Then I peeled off the backing paper and popped my frame in place. Now, this was the first one I put down, and as I mentioned, this card didn't come together just the most easily. Um, even though it's kind of simple in design, I should have put my monkey down before trying to put my frame down in place. So I ended up trimming it up a little bit, kind of having to maneuver my frame carefully, pop that up so that my monkey is flat against the background of the frame. I want it to look like it's framed up. And then I needed to press that back down in place. So for the remaining frames, the best I can suggest is to use your frame as a guide, place the inside circle down first, adhere your monkey or whatever other image you're putting down inside of your frame, then add your fun foam frame, your cardstock stamped frame, and your picture hangers. So I'm going to use this as a guide, put a little Ranger multi matte medium down, replace the oval in the center, and I really have to mention that I love the assortment of frames in this stamp set. There are seven different styles of frames. That is a lot, and these are so much fun. Imagine using these with any of your little agenda stamps. There are just, the sky is the limit. I would love to see them mixed and matched, like the different critters mixed and matched inside these frames on a single card. Lots of fun things to do here. I'm sorry that my head is in the way. So there is that frame. I wanted to make sure and get it adhered exactly where it goes. The little picture hangers really help with the feeling that this is a wall that these are hanging on, which is the look that I was going for with this card. Just a couple more here, and I'm just using a scrap piece of paper underneath and inking up those little backgrounds. with my foam ink blending tool there. So again, we're gonna use just one of the frames, whatever frame it is, they're all the same size. As a guide, replace that little middle piece, glue the monkey down in place, and then we can add the fun foam frame. Replace the or take the backing paper off and replace the top of that then with the stamped frame. And then add the picture hanger and bow. I think it would also be really fun to do a whole bunch of frames on a card and have the backgrounds, if you left the frames white like this, 
and have all of the backgrounds maybe in rainbow color, I think that would be amazing as well. Now I wanted my hearts that the two monkeys are holding, the, the balloon and then the other heart, to be sparkly. So I added Nouveau Crystal Drops in White Blizzard to those two hearts. And I'm gonna let that completely dry. This is a translucent Nouveau Crystal Drop that has glitter in it, like iridescent glitter. And so it's really amazing if you want to add glittery accents to your projects. I have found that I've been using it a lot more than maybe the Wink of Stella clear glitter brush pen or um, other glittering type pr uh, product simply because the glitter is a little bit more prominent. So if you want more of that glittery effect and feel, I love the Nouveau Crystal Drops in White Blizzard. Here is another monkey. This I kept changing my mind on which one I wanted to use. I originally was going to do that hanging monkey because he was going to go down in that bottom right corner, but I switched the frame placement just because I felt like this worked a little bit better. So I wanted my monkey to be facing towards the card and not away, if that makes sense. So I just switched which one I'm using, um, or at least his body facing towards the card. Another thing to note is I purposely put the square frames or the, the more squared edged frames, the rectangle and the square at opposite corners, and then the two scallop designs, the oval and the circle in opposite corners for a more balanced feel. We'll finish adding this frame, the stamped frame, the picture hanger and the bow and then we're gonna take this entire panel and adhere it to a white top fold card base to finish up this design. Also, I should have noted earlier, when I splattered the background with the white paint, I did let that sit and dry for quite a while um, and then came back to my project later. I like to let that air dry and the paint does take a little bit, as well as the pigment ink tends to take a little bit to dry as well. Now the eyes, I felt like really needed a little bit of an accent, so I'm gonna use a black jelly roll pin to go over the eyes. Being really careful to be, to not get too much ink out there because these are small images. Make sure and let that black ink dry just a little bit before you handle the card because it does take a minute to dry and you don't want to smear it. And then I took a white pen and added some highlights to areas on the monkeys. I added little dots to their cheeks just to kind of finish them off, add some fun accents, add some nice detail to those before I add this to my card base. Thanks for joining me today for these little agenda frames adhered to Fun Foam for some fun dimension for this Hello There card featuring new stamps and dies from the Mama Elephant April 2018 release. The supplies I use to create my card are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here are a couple more videos featuring Mama Elephant stamps and dies that you might be interested in. Please subscribe for weekly card making and stamping videos. Thanks for joining me today and we'll catch you next time.